In last class, we have seen two sample t test with equal variances. Now we will see two sample t test with unequal variances. This test is also known as Welch's t test. An equivariance two sample t test assumptions are population variances sigma 1 and sigma 2 are unknown. Population follow normal distribution or n1 plus n2 value greater than 40. Two samples are independent and two sample variances are not equal means sigma 1 square not equal to sigma 2 square this is the only difference from the previous test the sampling distribution of the differences in estimated means x1 bar minus x2 bar follows t distribution with mean mu1 minus mu2 and standard deviation under root s1 square by n1 plus s2 square by n2 and the degrees of freedom is given by this is the floor function s1 square by n1 plus s2 square by n2 whole square by s1 square by n1 square divided by n1 minus 1 plus s2 square by n2 whole square by n2 minus 1 then t statistic will be x1 bar minus x2 bar minus mu1 minus mu2 divided by under root s1 square by n1 plus s2 square by n2 here x1 bar is the average of sample 1 x2 bar is the average of sample 2 s1 is the first sample standard deviation s2 is the second sample standard deviation n1 is size of sample 1 n2 is the size of sample 2 let's see one example we discussed two example problems in equivariance to sample t test here also i am taking same example with assumption population variances are unequal let a1 and a2 are two samples of weights of screws that were chosen out of the bucket we need to test the hypothesis that the means of the populations from which the two samples are taken are equal here null hypothesis h0 is mu1 equal to mu2 and alternate hypothesis h1 is mu1 not equal to mu2 let us choose alpha 0.05 here we don't know the population standard deviations sigma 1 and sigma 2 two samples are independent sample size is not large n1 plus n2 less than 40 so let us assume populations are normally distributed and let us assume population variances also not equal so we can perform two sample t test with unequal variances from sample a1 if we calculate mean value x1 bar it will be 30.015 and standard deviation is 0 0.05 similarly for second sample sample mean x2 bar is 29.92 and standard deviation s2 is 0 0.11 both samples are of size 6 difference between sample means x1 bar minus x2 bar is 0 0.095 to test the equality of variance we can use Bartlett test f test r Levinance test some books suggest that if variance of one group more than four times of other group will be considered as unequal variance standard deviation for this unequal variance test is under root s1 square by n1 plus s2 square by n2 we substitute the values the result will be 0 0.04849 and degrees of freedom will be calculated by using this formula here degrees of freedom will be 7.031 apply the floor function then it will be 7 then substitute differences of sample mean value and standard deviation value in this t statistic formula then you will get t statistic 1.959 here it is to tail test t critical value for degrees of freedom 7 for two tail test with confidence level 95% means alpha 0 0.05 the t critical value is 2.365 t statistic 1.959 is within 95% confidence interval range means between these two critical values so result is not statistically significant so we cannot reject null hypothesis we can test the hypothesis by using p-values also if we find the p-value for t statistic 1.959 from t table it will be 0 
since it is two tail test you have to multiply this one tail p value with two so two tail p value will be 0 0.09 since p value 0 0.09 not less than alpha 0 0.05 so we cannot reject null hypothesis so results are not significant in support to the alternate hypothesis second example this problem also we have seen in previous test this is the summary of two samples we need to test that ES cars have lower fuel economy than the Japan cars based on above sample data at 95% confidence level here null and alternate hypothesis are h0 mu1 greater than or equal to mu2 h1 mu1 less than mu2 let us assume alpha here 0.05 here we don't know the population standard deviations sigma1 and sigma2 and these two samples are independent sample size n1 plus n2 greater than 40 and let us assume population variances are not equal so we can perform two sample t-test with unequal variances here standard deviation for unequal variance test under root s1 square by n1 plus s2 square by n2 if you substitute the sample data here then standard deviation will be 0 0.7983 and degrees of freedom can be calculated by using this formula here degrees of freedom is 214.58 you need to apply floor function then it will be 214 then substitute difference of sample mean values and standard deviation in this t statistic formula you will get t statistic minus 12.94 here it is left tail test the t critical value for the t critical value for degrees of freedom 214 here up to 120 are there so you can consider this row and for one tail test and 95% confidence level so t critical value will be this 1.645 here t critical value is minus 1.645 and t statistic minus 12.62059 this t statistic within the rejection region so result is statistically significant in support to the alternate hypothesis at 95% confidence level so we can reject this null hypothesis let's see by using p-values if we calculate p-value for this statistic minus 12.94 it will be less than 0 0.00001 since p-value less than alpha 0 0.05 we can reject null hypothesis means US cars have low fuel economy than Japan cars at 95% confidence level.